Hey everyone, Slambo here, hopping on one more contest today. This one's for JG Yokohama. Uh, it's the Not For Everyone contest. And he had a few questions and we'll go through each of them real quickly here. First question was, show a few items out of your collection that are just not for everyone. They could be free jazz, they could be yodeling, they could be anything else, or polka or anything in your collection that just is not for everyone. Well, my first one is one I was waiting for. This one just arrived on Friday. John Coltrane, a Love Supreme, live in Seattle. This is definitely not for everyone. This is for the Coltrane fans because there's a lot of free jazz in here and side three especially gets really far into the free jazz, but not as far as some of the others that I've heard on my local radio station on, I think it's Tuesday afternoons, uh, the jazz show does a lot of free jazz and John Coltrane features into there as well. But yeah, John Coltrane Love Supreme live in Seattle for some free jazz. Second pick that I made was one that uh, I thought would be funnier than it was, but not really. Uh, it was played straight. Shet Fields, Ripplin' and Riven. This one is kind of like what you hear on Lawrence Welk. Kind of polka, kind of swingy, kind of uh, almost jazz. Not quite, but uh, it features Mr. Shep Fields blowing in a bowl full of a liquid. It's probably soapy water. Uh, it's never really explained on the back of the album. And for me, this is more just okay, but it's it's a fun one in my collection, especially for the cover. The third one that I'm going to show for Not For Everyone is a, uh, a growing section of my collection, and that's children's records. So here's an example of that. We've got Walt Disney Presents Children's Riddles and Game Songs. I've got some good children's records, and as I build up the Disneyland records collection, I'm definitely going to be getting more kids' records, so children's music is not for everyone. You have to be in the right mood or have the right grandchild with you to do it. So that's what I've got for the first question. Second question is, show your most trashed album. Well, I don't have really one that I'm going to point out here. Uh, the, my first thought was one that I've shown several times before as being terribly uh, trashed up, but I picked another one out of that similar vein, and this is another one that, the, that my cat got to. This is the Jive Bunny and the Master Mixers with Let's Party and Auld Lang Syne, so this is a 12-inch EP. Along the edge there, let's get that in focus. There we go. The cat scratched up the spine of this record. So we've got some pretty nasty scratching on there. But any, but yeah, the uh, the sleeve is all scratched up, and he cut the uh, the inner sleeve as well a little bit. But the record's still okay, so I can still play the record. He didn't scratch onto the vinyl, so we're good there. So I've still got a playable record in my collection of the Jive Bunny and the Master Mixers, you know, and this is actually only one of two that I have from them. So that's what I'm putting for the most trashed album. I don't have a whole lot that are totally all scratched up anymore. Next question was, show a record or CD that has the craziest or most creative artwork. Uh, this is one that I've shown uh, before, and I'm going to show Cheech and Chong with Los Cochinos. And I'm showing this one because I always thought this was really cool. It's a die cut, and as you pull the inner sleeve out. There's the inside of the door from the car that they're in, and the record's inside that. And on the back here, we've got all the track listing here on the uh, on the inner sleeve, so there's side one and there's side two, and all the credits are down here as well. And then once you pull it out of the sleeve, you know, the record sleeve, the outer sleeve also has some extra artwork inside there, so when the inner sleeve is pulled out, there's some backup artwork instead of the two of them. It's the two of them with two more of their characters. And there's the back of it with two more of their characters. So that's, that's my pick for an album with really crazy art or interesting artwork on an album cover. And the last question he asked is, what was your best or favorite find from digging in record crates. And this is one that I found at my local St. Vinny's store, uh, which is becoming one of my more favorite thrift stores to go to because it's still the one that has 78s. Uh, and that's the Spike Jones three disc set. This was a 
really, an, for me, an amazing find. You know, this has a whole bunch of things on it that I knew, and it had a couple of tracks from the TV show that I had on a bootleg tape, and now I've got it on a vinyl record as well. So there's a couple of tracks on here that I really loved on that tape, and, you know, now that I got it on a record, I don't have to worry about keeping a hold of that tape anymore. We have some records f that are definitely not for everyone. We had my most trashed record, oh well, one of my most trashed records, a record that I think has some really fantastic artwork on it, and the record that I think was my best find went out crate digging. So there's a contest entry for JG Yokohama. Please do go subscribe to him. That's what I've got today. See you next time.